Preparation of Blood Components In the past, whole blood was the only preparation that could be administered to replace red cells, platelets, coagulation factors, in addition to what patients required. This caused unnecessary administration of unwanted cells or plasma constituents. Large volumes of whole blood were needed to achieve satisfactory replacement of a particular component. Significant advances in transfusion medicine have been made whereby separation of blood can be done in a closed system and patients can be administered specific replacement therapy. One unit of donor's blood can be utilized for preparation of different components and thus can benefit more than one patient. Always prepare 100% components wherever facilities are available. Constituent achievement of quality is the ultimate aim of component preparation. Hence, strict adherence to the standard operative procedure is imperative. This video describes component preparation by platelet-rich plasma method, the most widely used method in our country. For component preparation, you need a separate, well-lit, air-conditioned, dedicated room of at least 50 square meters with workbench and electrical installation facilities. This room should be kept hygienic with proper pest control measures. What should be the ambient temperature for component separation? A. 37 to 39 degrees centigrade B. 20 to 25 degrees centigrade C. 30 to 35 degrees centigrade Yes, the correct answer is B, 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. Ambient temperature of the room should be maintained between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade. We need the following equipment to prepare and store blood components. Deep freezers, minus 30 to minus 40 degrees centigrade, minus 20 to minus 80 degrees centigrade. Blood bank refrigerator, 2 to 6 degrees centigrade. Platelet incubator with agitator maintained at plus 20 to plus 24 degrees centigrade. Refrigerated centrifuge. Laminar airflow. Weighing scale. Plasma expressor. Dielectric sealer. Stripper. Water bath, 37 degrees centigrade. Cryoprecipitate bath, 4 degrees centigrade. Dry rubber balancing material. Preliminary measures for component preparation. Ensure blood units are collected within 8 minutes. What is the maximum time limit for component separation from time of collection? A. 24 hours B. 20 hours C. 8 hours Yes! The correct answer is C, 8 hours. If platelets have to be harvested, the blood bag should be kept at room temperature 20 to 24 degrees centigrade and should be separated within 6 to 8 hours from the time of collection. Refrigerated centrifuge is brought to the desired temperature and kept ready. Blood bags must be weighed and balanced equally in opposing cups. Separation of platelet-rich plasma from the whole blood by light spin. Program refrigerated centrifuge for light spin with appropriate speed and duration according to the manufacturer's instructions. The bag should be so placed that its broadside faces the outside wall of the cup. Close the lid and start the spin. Ensure that correct speed of centrifugation and time are maintained. When the spin is completed, Gently remove the blood bags. Be careful not to disturb the separated layers of the components. Now, the primary bag is fixed carefully in the plasma expressor. Then, the hermetic seal is broken. Express approximately three-fourth of the plasma into the satellite bag and clamp the tubing.
Make sure that adequate amount of plasma is present in the packed cells. Separate the primary bag with red cells and store in the blood bank refrigerator. If ADSOL or SAG-M triple bag system is used, transfer all platelet-rich plasma into empty satellite bags and add additive solution to red cells. Seal the tubing of the bag with red cells and separate it from the satellite bags. In triple bags, transfer supinated plasma to platelet bag which will be centrifuged later to separate plasma and platelets. One of the satellite bags containing platelet-rich plasma is processed further to prepare platelets. Separation of platelet concentrates and plasma from platelet-rich plasma by hard spin. Program the refrigerated centrifuge for hard spin as per manufacturer's instruction. Place platelet-rich plasma bag along with remaining satellite bags. Close the lid and start the spin. Similar steps followed in light spin will be repeated. Express approximately 200 milliliters of the supernatant platelet-poor plasma into another empty satellite bag. Seal the tubing of the bag with plasma and separate it from the satellite bag with platelet concentrate. When can the platelet concentrate bag be stored in platelet agitator? A. Immediately after component separation. B. After leaving it undisturbed for one hour. C after storing in blood bank refrigerator for one day. Yes, the answer is B, after leaving it undisturbed for one hour. Ensure approximately 50 milliliters of plasma is left with platelets, which will be left undisturbed for one hour at room temperature. Then, at the end of one hour, the platelets are resuspended and stored at 20 to 24 degrees centigrade at constant agitation in a platelet incubator with agitator for a maximum period of five days. Make sure that the unlabeled surface of the platelet concentrate bags are facing up to facilitate better oxygen diffusion. Store the bag with plasma at minus 30 degrees centigrade or below in the deep freezer. What is the shelf life of fresh frozen plasma? A. One month at minus 30 degrees centigrade. B. One year at minus 30 degrees centigrade. C. Ten years at minus 30 degrees centigrade. Yes, the answer is B. One year at minus 30 degrees centigrade. Most labile coagulation factors are preserved for one year if fresh frozen plasma is kept at minus 30 degrees centigrade or below. Preparation of cryoprecipitate from fresh frozen plasma. Remove fresh frozen plasma bag from the deep freezer. Place it inside the plastic wrapper. Suspend the bag with wrapper at 4 degrees centigrade in a circulating water bath. Within 15 to 30 minutes, the plasma becomes slushy. Centrifuge the bag with plasma at 4 degrees centigrade with speed and duration as per manufacturer's instruction. Supernatant cryopore plasma is siphoned out, seal the tubing and separate the bags. Cryoprecipitate is stored at minus 30 degrees centigrade or below in the deep freezer for a period of one year. Things to remember. Ensure all the equipments are regularly calibrated. Ensure quality control for 1% of all components prepared. Efficacy of the prepared components is reassured by the following quality parameters.
The primary goal of component therapy is to ensure quality with right components to the right patient in the right quantity at the right time. Separate components ensure quality.